Glenn Greenwald went on Meet the Press, and uh, David Gregory asked a question that did not sit well with Glenn. Uh, I think understandably so. Let's hear this exchange out, and then we'll discuss who's right and who's wrong. Um, to the extent that you have aided and abetted Snowden, even in his current movements, why shouldn't you, Mr. Greenwald, be charged with a crime? I think it's pretty extraordinary that anybody who would call themselves a journalist would publicly muse about whether or not other journalists should be charged with felonies. The assumption in your question, David, is completely without evidence, the idea that I've aided and abetted him in any way. The scandal that arose in Washington before our stories began was about the fact that the Obama administration is trying to criminalize investigative journalism by going through the, the emails and phone records of AP reporters, accusing a Fox News journalist of the theory that you just embraced being a co-conspirator with felony in felonies for working with sources. If you want to embrace that theory, it means that every investigative journalist in the United States who works with their sources, who receives classified information, is a criminal. And it's precisely those theories and precisely that climate that has become so menacing in the United States. It's why the New Yorker's Jane Mayer said investigative reporting has come to a standstill, her word, as a result of the theories that you just referenced. Now, when I first heard about the story, I heard that uh, Glenn Greenwald got angry at a question that David Gregory had asked. And I thought, well, you know, look, he's supposed to ask tough questions. I don't have a problem with that. I would imagine that Glenn doesn't have a problem with that. But when I heard the question itself in that tape, you understand why he got upset. Because if Gregory had asked the question and framed it this way, saying, hey, some in the United States, for example, Congressman Peter King, has said that you have aided and abetted Snowden and hence, uh, you know, should be tried. That's a perfectly legitimate question, and I'd be curious as to see what uh, Glenn's reaction to that would be. But he didn't frame it that way. He framed it as, you are an aider and a better of Snowden, so why aren't you a criminal? Well, you bake the assumption into the question, so you didn't ask him whether he's an aider and a better. You, you said you are an aider and a better, so explain why you're not a criminal. And that unfortunately goes to the heart of David Gregory's problem. And he's not alone, this is the whole mainstream press. I'm positive that they think they're the good guys and they're doing upstanding journalism and they're worried about rabble rousers like Glenn Greenwald who's just so impolite, not just to the government but also to the rest of the press. I'm positive that he rubs every nerve they have in their body raw. Like, oh, I can't stand that guy. And partly because he embarrasses them. But David Gregory has gone to a next step here. Not only does he not challenge the government, but he takes the position of the government here and challenges a reporter who actually did investigative journalism. The question there seemed to reek of, how dare you? Now look, listen to his follow-up here, where I actually think he does even more damage while he's trying to partly backpedal out. Well, the question of who's a journalist may be up to a debate with regard to what you're doing. And of course, anybody who's watching this understands I was asking a question. That question has been raised by lawmakers as well. I'm not embracing anything, uh, but obviously I take your point. Now, I don't know what he means by he, by he takes his point. And as I explained, it's not just that he's asking about what congressmen are saying. He said, you are an aider and a better, as an aider and a better, right? But no, no, no. The most important part was the second part right there when he talked about I don't know about your role as a journalist I mean you only broke the most important story in a long time that we're all talking about that the government is in a panic over they have a global manhunt manhunt against Snowden uh, uh, over this everybody is blaming Snowden as a treasonous traitor that's part of the government and a lot of the guys who work at Pravda I mean mainstream press and now I'm asking if you're a criminal for even printing that story. But, you know, on whether you're a journalist is up for debate. It's up for debate. The reality is, it's up for debate as to whether David Gregory and the rest of the Washington Press Corps are real journalists. Now there's some great reporting, including by the Washington Post, who also broke this story as well. McClatchy newspapers, terrific. Guardian, terrific, etc. But when you, especially on television, I, they don't understand what reporting is at all. They perceive it as, how do I protect the power establishment and how do I ridicule and perhaps even criminalize real reporting while I pose as a reporter? And that's exactly what David Gregory is doing. Greenwald also called him out on this. He tweeted afterwards, 
who needs the government to try to criminalize journalism when you have David Gregory to do it? And that's ex unfortunately, that's exactly what the role of the mainstream media has become. They establish what is acceptable thought. If you go outside of acceptable thought, I don't even accept that that was investigative journalism, even though I admit that it is a tremendous story and why I have you on the program in the first place. Ridiculous. Now, he's not alone though, David Gregory's not alone. The rest of the uh, mainstream media has to rally. So Andrew Ross Sorkin from CNN is also going to jump in. I would arrest him, and now I almost arrest uh, Glenn Greenwald, who is the, the journalist, who seems to be out there. Almost, he wants to help him get to Ecuador. <laughs> I, I love how he hedges that tiny bit. I'd almost arrest Glenn Greenwald. What if he breaks another story? Then you would arrest him. You know, our job here at CNBC, NBC, MSNBC, CNN, oftentimes Fox News, depending on if there's a Democrat or Republican president, is circle the wagons. Protect the government. Uh, any, journalism has broken out. Everybody, five alarm uh, fire over here, right? Uh, so Glenn Greenwald says, I don't know of anybody who has a lower opinion of the Beltway media generally, of David Gregory specifically for that matter, uh, Andrew Ross Sorkin specifically, than I do. And yet, it actually is even surprising to me to watch them openly do the dirty work of the US government and essentially suggesting publicly that journalists who report on what the government is doing ought to be turned into criminals. Well, Glenn, you and I uh, might have an equally bad opinion of those two people and the mainstream media overall, but you're right. I'm, I mean, as much as I've called them Pravda in the past, and it's not a direction I wanted to go in, it's a direction, unfortunately, that I was woken up to over the last, well, certainly several years, and also you can stretch it all the way back to the Bush years when there was a full-throated defense of the government and not exposing their lies in Iraq, etc. I've come to the conclusion that these guys are an amazing propaganda tool by the government not to challenge them, but to protect them. So it's not that they're not doing their job, it's that they are doing their job. That's the real problem. Their job is to shun anyone who challenges the government, and here they have become absolutely brazen about it.